This is the real Tom Rose, and we're given um, some special properties of a piece of rectangular metal. We're told that it has an area of 35 and a perimeter of 24. Now there's uh, two possible rectangles that will meet those um, that will meet those uh, parameters, and you can figure that experimentally what that would be, um, and we can we can run algebra to, to figure that out. The much faster way, though, is just to take the answer choices and check them, right? So we're looking for something. First of all, when you multiply it together, it must equal the two dimensions. When you, so area is base times height for a rectangle, right? So when you multiply them together, um, you must get 35. So um, 35 over 2 times 2, that works. 5 times 7 works. 35 times 1 works. 6 times 6 does not work. Um, and 8 times 4 does not work. So there you go. We eliminated two of them right off the bat there. Um, perimeter must equal 24. Perimeter is 2 times uh, the base plus 2 times the height, right? Where if this is the base and this is the height of this rectangle, so um, that must equal 24. So if I do um, 2 times 35 is going to be 70. So that's way too big already, right? Um, let's see, again, 2 times 35 over 2 is going to be 35, which is already too big. So the only one that, that is left is this one. So 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 times 7 is 14. 10 plus 14 equals 24. That's, that's a match. This is going to be our correct answer. That, I think it's the fastest and easiest way to do this. Now, if you want to do this algebraically, you can, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, you just set up the equations for the, the relationships that they give you. So they tell you area is 35, um, area is base times height. So if I have base times height must be equal to 35. And you can also say uh, 2 times the base plus 2 times the height equals 24. There you've got a system of equations with two, two equations, two variables. So you can solve this. So let's do a substitution. So um, suppose I say B um, equals 35 over H. I can substitute that in here for B. And what you'll get is um, 2 times 35 over H plus 2H equals 24. Multiply by through by H over 2, and you get um, 35 plus H squared equals 12H. Right? You can reorganize that to give you H, two, H squared minus 12H plus 35 equals 0. That's a quadratic equation. You can factor it. You get h minus 5 and h minus 7 as your factors, which will give you um, heights of either 5 or 7. And remember I told you that the height, that there were two possible rectangles that, that would do this. One of them has a height of 5 and a base of 7. The other has a height of 7 and a base of 5, which makes sense, right? There's another rectangle in here, which looks like this, which also has those same properties.